Ryan Delon, 60 Years of Passion. There are two things I consider my legacy, my acting career and my art collection. I am immensely proud of both. He had everything. He was sincerely loved by the most beautiful women. Romy Schneider. Natalie Barthelemy. Mary Dark. Dalida. He gained fame and public adoration early. He possessed an outstanding acting talent, worked with great directors. He had talented friends. And he was incredibly handsome with a charismatic appearance, charming in everything. Rightfully the most beautiful man on earth. This man lived life to the fullest. Any man would envy him. He was a happy man, though he didn't see himself as such. Moreover, he adored dogs and funded animal shelters, which speaks to his sensitive soul. And all of this in one man, all of this, the unique Alain Delon. A passionate collector, a lover of exquisite things. His collection of expensive and rare wines was auctioned in Paris at the restaurant Le Fouquet in November 2011. The total sales amounted to 250,400 euros. Each bottle had his name written on it Alain Delon, thanks to which the collection was sold at a higher price. His collection of a hundred expensive watches, which he collected for over 50 years, included famous brands such as Rolex, Cartier, Blancpain, Audemars Pichuet, Vacheron Constantine, and Breitling, and Alain Delon also put them up for auction. The actor himself admitted that he had spent his whole life collecting, as well as receiving many gifts. Now, considering my age and physical condition, all that I have accumulated seems like just a mountain of things. I prefer not to indulge in nostalgia, but to sell these items and leave the money to my children. I would absolutely hate for there to be some kind of posthumous auction of Delon's collections. On November 22, 2016, at Christie's auction, his collection of 12 bronze sculptures by the Italian animal sculptor Rembrandt Bugatti was sold for more than 4 million euros. Alain Delon's journey into the world of art began when he bought his first drawing at the age of 29. I bought my first painting in 1964 in London. Over the years, I acquired many drawings, portraits, and sculptures that touched me, spoke to me, and occasionally even comforted me. These works accompanied me throughout the years and were part of my life. The collection included works by many famous artists, including Jean-Francois Millet and Domenico Beccafiumi. Delon admitted that he did not follow strict criteria when choosing works, he collected pieces that touched him emotionally and said that the thread connecting his collection was himself. Delon's knowledge of art was as impressive as his collection. Between film shoots, he visited museums and exhibitions, constantly expanding his horizons and refining his taste. When I fall in love with an artist or an era, I immerse myself in it, read everything, and can only talk about that," said Alain Delon. Delon valued art not only as a collectible but also deeply understood the significance of the pieces he acquired. Alain Delon's art collection was auctioned at Bonhomme's Cornet de Saint Cyr in Paris on June 22, 2023. The sale exceeded expectations. One of the most expensive lots was a painting by Raoul Dufy the Bay of Saint Address, sold for 1,016,400 euros, although it was estimated at 600,000 to 800,000 euros. Eugene Delacroix's Arabian Horse Tied to a Post, this work was sold for 775,100 euros, more than double its estimate. Albert Gleese's Landscape, this Cubist-style painting was sold for 356,000 euros. Rembrandt Bugatti's Growling and Hissing Panther, a bronze statue of the panther was sold for 508,400 euros. Camille Corot's Genoa, part of the city in the Apennines, this landscape was sold for 229,000 euros, double its estimate. The auction organizers noted Alain Delon's keen sense, which allowed him to assemble a unique collection. He chose his art with his heart, remarked Anuchka Delon. His collection included works by Rubens, Caracci, Gersino, Guido Reni, Franz Snyders, Giovanni Benedetto Castiglione, Jericho, Delacroix, Daumier, and Millet. At the auction, 98% of the lots were sold, with the sale of 83 lots totaling 8 million euros, double the estimate. The auction became a significant event, gathering collectors from around the world. 
Undoubtedly, the name of the beloved actor and owner of the collection made the pieces more attractive to buyers and boosted the prices of the lots. Now the new owners will proudly showcase and pass down their purchases, which are not only valuable works by great artists but also once belonged to the great Alain Delon.